I would have to go to Guyana to film a couple of scenes. And then I was, that's terrific because the Guyanese people don't get to see this. They get to see National Geographic. Did things happen to your family? You're happening for a reason. I would, I would love to start uh, this interview by um, talking about how the series talks about how everything is connected in this full circle. So I wanted to know in which way does your character connect to you? Well, first of all, I think one of the reasons why I was hired was because I was born in Guyana. So right from the very beginning, I'm one of those people. And in Little Guyana in Queens, I don't know a lot of people there, but I go there when I'm homesick and I want food, I would send for food from there. So there's that connection. But more than anything else, I think there, I understood uh, my character's belief in extra help, um, readings of, uh, of a mother nature spiritual way in terms of it's not going to work if I go through the American channels. They're not going to understand it. It's not going to work out at all. <laughs> But I need a little something extra. So I'm going to go home and get it. All of those things um, are not uncommon. So it wasn't like, oh, how am I going to do that? No, I, I knew. I knew. So how long has it been since you played a character from the, like, from the place you were born? First time ever. This First one. time ever. And how, I mean, how was that experience? I, I can imagine it was like when you first knew about it, it was like an instant, okay, maybe I, I have to do it, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, well, it, didn't, it wasn't quite that way because I was already working and I was abroad. So I was filming in Scotland and it was all about logistics. Well, how do you fit it in? Yeah. And then I think the thing that cinched it was I would have to go to Guyana to film a couple of scenes. And then I was... That's terrific because the Guyanese people don't get to see this. They get to see National Geographic and, you know, the jungle and the manatees and the, the largest anacondas and that kind of thing, big turtles. And so it was really wonderful that I knew that it was a large scene and that the Guyanese people could participate, like all of the actors from the theater guild and all of that could have an opportunity to be part of it. So that was exciting. Also, I love shows that gives us, as women, this sense of strength. I, I, I think it's inspiring. And your character is like that, you know, she's a badass. So mm -hmm. I would like to know your take on that. Is it important for you to portray these qualities in the character you're playing? I think every immigrant woman is a badass. Every single one who comes finds themselves having to learn everything all over again and make her way through this kind of life to a New York life. It's, you know, is a badass woman, even if she does it in different ways, even if she does it demurely and you're going to help me and all of that, even if she is strident, even if she is clever. And I think it's really important for us not to um, see that, badass as a negative thing because if she were doing something different in her life and was a badass she would be an amazing go-getter that's what we'd call her and go get her <laughs> <laughs> there's some clear topics that full circle addresses you know like drama drama crime drama mystery sorry but i'm sure there are a lot more that hide underneath the surface. So I would love to know which topics do you think are also there and you had the chance to explore in this series that, that are not that obvious? Obviously, the one that stands out to me most is the fact that we can be in such a congested area, but we live packaged lives. Mm. Little Guyana, little Tokyo, little China, you know, all these places the wealthy live here the poor live there and these separations that happen because of money location all of those things 
um, comfort too. It's amazing to see it in a film like this where you kind of go, these people, they never mix. They, they literally like the bicycle ride pass each other. And you see that reference in several places with the bike passing the moment. And that is a reality. You know. Thank you so much, CCH. We, yeah. We're running out of time, but it was a pleasure talking to you and I hope to see you on the next one. Lovely. Thank you so much. I promise.